Hello, this is composer of French Runners Richard Burdick and Friday the Cat. Um, why would you want to subscribe to this channel? I'm planning to um, get rid of the cat. No, no. <laughs> um, I'm planning to keep composing and keep performing and recording on the French horn. Um, I think there's three reasons that you should subscribe to my channel if you aren't. And thank you if you have. Um, the primary reason most people subscribe to my channel is because I'm a French horn player. I'm principal horn for the Regina Symphony Orchestra in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, where I've been playing principal horn for 19 years. I used to play fourth horn for Sacramento Symphony from 1990 to 1996, which went bankrupt. So I have experience professionally full-time as a fourth horn and a principal horn. There's a few others that have that in their life experience. Um, I will be showing off various horns. Um, I'm going to start over this Christmas break, December 2022. I'm going to explore and start learning my mental holes on the Baroque horn. Uh, this is the horn that Lowell Greer, Lowell Greer said. I'm going to lend this horn to you while I build the horn that I commissioned him to build. Um, he said this was his main horn, his main Baroque horn. Um, I'm not sure I believe him, but rest in peace my friend and I'm gonna start playing this in public with the vital holes and learning that showing how it's done once I learn it um, I've, never, I've always been a hand horn player um, I just finished a recording of the classical natural horn and I came across one really interesting thing um, the C B G and F in the middle C and down um, I used to do it with the hand Right? You can get the pitches. It's, it's never loud enough. So I realized, taking the hand out of the bone. Even though you think it's going to go sharp, but actually you can bend it back down more easily. And the F sharp too. So I will explore that more in depth and similar things. And I will be exploring, no, I'm, I, I've been exploring for 40 years, the use of I Ching, the pat wonderful, amazing patterns of the I Ching in music. And I wrote the book, and now I'm gonna start going through the book publicly on video, talking about what I've done, um, how I do it, so you don't, maybe don't have to buy the book from amazon.com. Um, or listen to the stupid commercials, but I'm going to do that. So three things. I'm going to keep writing beautiful music. I'm going to keep recording on the horn. I'm going to keep exploring new horn techniques and trying to get better as a horn player and share that as I go along. And I hope you subscribe because I love what I'm doing and I hope that you appreciate what I'm doing too. I'm planning to um, get rid of the cat. No, no. <laughs> um, I'm planning to keep composing and keep performing and recording on the French horn. Um, I have some videos planned. Um, one of them includes some technique. I just finished the recording of using my classical natural horn. And um, I'm going to talk about some unusual techniques. So I'm talking the high A difficulties with the high A, which is very interesting. Um, some of the technique needed for low horn. Um, I saw passages one it had a C and a B and an F and a G below middle C or middle C. I'm gonna talk about that in a recent in a coming up video. You might want to see that. Um, I'm going to start working on my Baroque or with my Baroque horns. I don't have the crux attached right now. The German Austro Bohemian style Baroque horn um, has vental holes that Lowell Greer built. I'm going to start exploring that. So I'm going to do something about that. A video, maybe more with the bad Baroque horn. Um, the more English version of the Baroque horn with crux not attached right now. Uh, I'm going to work on that over the break of Christmas and I'll probably get out that crust before valve B flat again and practice that and 
show some stuff, record some stuff with that. Um, so stay tuned for new music for me, and I'm pursuing beauty. No more avant-garde for me. It's beautiful music or nothing. Um, maybe a little expressionist, but I like expressionist. Maybe you don't, but with the horn stuff coming up, I think you should subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching today.